Hello everyone and welcome back to another Cafe. My name is Isaac and we're back playing some Feed the Beast Monster for episode 57. And now we kind of get into the good stuff. Now we are getting pretty close to be able to double this Iridium ore, which is kind of cool. Uh, our tanks of you, you might have a filling up pretty uh, pretty well. We've got four full tanks pretty much now. Uh, so whatever four times 16 is, that's how much how many buckets worth we've got of you, you matter. Which is quite nice. We're still, uh, we're still making a little bit, not a ton. I mean, the scraps kind of slowed down a bit now. So it's going at a reasonable pace, not loads. Uh, I fucked everything up to the um, the windmill outside now, so everything is coming through the MFE uh, and out to these guys. Now I'm thinking, does this guy? So this guy only outputs 512 EU per tick, but I think when I looked up there, the uh, the windmill is actually like giving out 1,800. I think it was EU per tick at the moment. So I think this might we might be even bottlenecked at the moment by the MFE. It might be like coming down. And then, like, sort of like getting slowed down to 512 EU per tick and then going out. But even so, with 512 EU per tick, it's doing really well. I've, I've bumped these guys all up to 10 overclockers, and they're still doing fine on power. I bet I could probably actually bump these up to maybe 16 overclockers. Because, I mean, if you look at them, that uses, that's using 220, 220, 220. I guess if they were all on at the same time, the little lightning bolt would probably start quivering a bit because that would be like 640 EU, which is bottlenecked by this. But to be honest, what we could probably just do is just something like uh, 1, 2, Three and just sort of like loop around it and now it's probably getting more than enough power because that thing like i said 1800 eu per tick is a flipping heck of a lot of eu uh anyway what we need to do is we need to make a few more machines in order to get this to work now those machines are a scanner basically we put our UU matter in the scanner and it will take it scan it and then it will eject it into an adjacent uh, pattern storage chest well not really a chest just a pattern storage machine this guy here the pattern storage and then the replicator We'll, uh, we'll read from the pattern storage and just replicate that item. See, that could take up to 2,048 EU per tick. So that could take a lot of power. And then using UU matter and power, it will replicate that UU matter. And it should, every like every time it gets, I think, like a million EU. And I think it's like 22 buckets of UU matter. It will give us an extra piece of iridium. So it's pretty slow. It's going to take quite a while. But uh, hopefully with it being a server, it shouldn't take too long. And, and that's the plan. And now, the only problem is we've got a little ways to go because... Um, I thought I'd just be able to make those three machines today, put them down, and uh, Bob's Junk would be good to go. But apparently that's not the case. <laughs> These things take uh, quite a few like extra things to make that I didn't quite anticipate. So, for instance, um, the pattern storage chest stores these things on crystals. Now, these crystals are... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's just see if I can find them. Stores them on... Doo -doo -doo. Is it these guys? No, it's not those guys. It's these guys here. This stores them on crystal memory, which is uh, this guy here. Crystal memory is just made from s either smelting or using the min machinimite, which we'll probably end up using because we've just got a ton of the stuff. And you get two crystal memory, which is made from raw crystal memory, which is made from obsidian dust, which is a pulverized obsidian or macerated obsidian, easy enough. And silicon dioxide, which is only made in a thermal centrifuge with, uh, with clay dust. Uh, so we'll have to do that today as well. And also the... Um, the replicator and I think the um, scanning the uh, storage chest itself both require reinforced stone, which if we click on it has no recipe, and there's a reason for that. And I'll show you guys how we make that uh, in a little bit. But that is uh, quite <laughs> quite different and quite odd how we have to make that nowadays. So uh, I'll show you guys how we do that in in just a little while. So we're going to start off with the thermal centrifuge. Uh, I'll go upstairs because we're going to do all our crafting, and it's not too hard to make. To be honest, it's not that bad. Uh, let's have a look. Thermal centrifuge. I think we've got everything we need. Uh, to do it so a thermal centrifuge we need uh, an advanced machine casing electric motor two coils from iron and a mining laser which is just advanced plates uh, advanced circuit a crystal and some redstone so we've got pretty much everything we need for that so uh, we're gonna need this crystal I've already got one and then what was it an advanced circuit we can craft one of those begin and that shouldn't take too long I don't think Maybe. Possibly. Are we missing something? No, it's just taking a lot of time. For some reason, whenever I log onto the server, it just, like, my sound just defaults off for some reason. Not too sure why, but there we go. Mining laser. Done. Get rid of you guys, and then we just need all of that stuff. <laughs> okay, so we're missing a few things. Uh, advanced machine casing, we can just make. Uh, the coils, we can just make. Two of those. And then the last guy, what was it? Electric motor, we can just make that as well. Electric motor. Begin. And then as soon as that's done, I think we should just be able to uh, shift click this guy in and we might be good to go. Uh, almost, we're missing a few things. The mining laser seems to have gone for, for one. Uh, what were these other guys? Coils, are we missing those? What is it not liking about that? 
Did we not make any coils? I swear I just requested two coils. Okay, begin. We'll try again. Uh, it shouldn't take too long. I think it's just iron surrounded by copper cabling, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, look at that. So there we go, two coils, nice, and boom, thermal centrifuge. Okay, so this guy can take up to 48 EU per tick uh, by default and a maximum of 128 EU per tick, but of course we're gonna overclock it because, you know, that's what we do here. So let's throw this guy downstairs. And I think, uh, I kinda wanna keep this space here. I think I'm gonna move this bit. But I think I'm gonna keep these three slots for the machines that we're after, the, um, the scanner, the pattern storage, and the um, replicator. So I think what we could do is, mm, I'm thinking about putting that maybe here, but um, yeah, we could probably do that. Let's uh, jump, jump, shift, click, there we go. It just means we have to move some of this cabling, which is not too big of a deal. It means we have to move uh, this thing here, I think. Uh, oh, is that gonna work? We're gonna have to go up and over, aren't we, with the, uh, with the glass fiber cable. So let's get some more. Actually, if we're going to go up and over, then we may as well just leave that there and just go up over and to the top. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so let's grab some glass fiber cable real quick. We're also going to need a bunch of clay. Now, I don't think clay is something... Hello? Hello? It's going to... Oh, get a little bit of lag. It's fine. So we'll craft, I don't know, seven glass fiber cable. Just pulling them about my head. Now, I don't think we have a lot of clay, and I might be wrong. No, we have no clay. <laughs> okay. So, uh, in order to make the memory crystals that we're after, or the crystal memory, should I say, we're going to need um, this stuff here, silicon dioxide, which is made from clay dust, which is made from macerating clay. So, I'm going to have to go outside and find some clay. Is clay just made from ball clay? Yeah. So, what I think I'm going to do is I will hook up the glass fiber cable right now, and then I'll probably cut away, go find a bunch of clay, because you don't need to see me go and like hunt through water to find little bits of clay. Probably gonna get a bunch of that stuff and then come back and hopefully be able to just uh, put it through the thermal centrifuge and we'll all be good to go. So let's have a look. Is this just gonna, uh, this just gonna work? So I don't think we're really gonna need this for all too much. Uh, let's have a look. Do we need this silicon dioxide really for anything else? No, it's, it's only used to make these crystal memories, so I don't think we'll need it too much. So I don't think we're going to have to automate it with the ME system, so uh, it should be fine to just sort of like hook it up like this and go up and around and connect to that. It's going to be a bit weird, but it's fine. It's fine. That's probably what I'll end up doing. So I'm going to go away. I'm going to do that. I'm going to find a bunch of clear, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I went out. I got 23... Blah. Okay, so I went out, I managed to get 23 blocks of clay in total, so now all we should have to do, I think, is throw the clay in there, which should, oh no, that's not what we want to do at all. Uh, what did we need to do? We need to get this stuff, which it does say macerate clay block, doesn't it? Hmm. That's an extractor, that's why. <laughs> macerate some clay, uh, it's some clay dust, which is nice. We'll take all of this, there we go, I think that should be enough for now, and then Throw this into the thermal centrifuge, which I did make some overclockers for. I set some overclockers going, should I say? So let's have a look. Have they been made? Overclockers. We've managed to make one. What are we missing? Sticks. Wow, really? <laughs> uh, wood. Are we all out of wood? Uh, no, we've got loads of wood. What? <laughs> What's it complaining about? Uh, let's just make some of that. Let's just make a bunch of sticks for it. Why not? There you go. Look, sticks. Are you happy? Of course you're not. We'll cancel that. Um, overclockers. Come on. I want a few more than that. Let's see, let's probably make seven more. There we go. And that should be fine now. It shouldn't be wanting any more sticks. I don't even know, what, what does it need? Oh, it might need six for the forge. That's probably what you need it for. Okay, I think we should probably look into replacing that as well, by the way, with a um, a metal extractor, is it, or something? Or a metal former, even, which can uh, just do the job itself. So let's throw in our clay dust, and hopefully it'll just work, I think. Oh, something's happening. It's heating up. Um, I apparently asked to get up to 250 degrees. I haven't used this before. And I haven't really tested it out either, like I have with some of the other machines, so um, bear with me if it just doesn't work. Okay, things look like they're happening. Oh, the yellow bar's heating up, the heat's staying high, I like it. The max power is 77 EU per tick at the moment. Um, stuff's happening, how are we doing for overclockers? Because this looks like it's going pretty slowly to me. Uh, overclockers, oh yeah, look at this. Get a bunch of them, nice. Uh, we've probably just got another one actually. Overclockers, yeah, look at this. Okay, I love the fact that we can make overclockers. I probably keep saying it, but I really do like it. Right, look at that. Oh, we got some of it. Let's throw some more in there. Speed this thing up quite a bit. Yeah, look at that now. Max pattern. <laughs> Jesus. Now it's using 503 EU per tick. Bloody hell. And apparently its max is still 128. Let's um, let's get a transformer upgrade so it could take more than 128. 
and and that thing should start steamrolling okay transformer upgrade craft one of those for me please begin uh okay how is how is you doing doing okay overclockers oh my god i don't, I don't even want i don't even know if i want to dare put the other ones in because that thing's using up so much power at the moment um how's, uh, there we go done transformer upgrade let's take this guy he should be able to take a lot more power now which is nice all right throw you in there now you can take a load of power throw that in there and now you can just like jesus now it can just eat through the power and why oh you've stopped because we're out of stuff okay uh, i think to be honest though oh we've got four i think we need five um minimum to get this thing started so let's take all these i'm just trying to grab them before they go into the ae system there we go how fast does this thing go now 20 in there uh, so it looks like it heats up at about the same speed. I think it's the yellow bar that's going to sort of steamroll through now that we've got so much, uh, so many overclockers in this thing. So let's have a look. Is it going to uh, steam power through? Yellow bar time? Maybe? No? Just me? Hmm. Are we out of power? I don't think... Oh, the, oh God, the MFE is out of power. Okay, um... Oh, it looks like I'm lagging a little bit. Yep, there we go. I'm out. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay, so no, I'm back in, there, and apparently, there we go. <laughs> I've literally just, literally, it took like two seconds from when I stopped recording to when I start recording, and that was pretty fast then. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie. So, I am yeah, wonder if that's what crashed the server. Well, it didn't crash the server, but just kicked me out. Let's have a look. Let's try this again. Just to show you how fast it is, uh, we'll throw that in there. It should heat up to full temperature again. And then I want to see how fast it is because I've just come back on and they're all done. And I'm hoping that it, it, it works this time, maybe. Are we out of power, literally, or? No, we're on full power. Okay, I'm going to say. There we go. Look at that. One, two. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's the speed I'm on about. Okay, right. So now we're going to need some pulverized obsidian. I think we've got a bunch of obsidian. Uh, yeah, look at this. We've got 21,000 obsidian. Uh, let's grab a stack of you. I'm just going to throw a full stack into the pulverizer and see what happens. Not the pulverizer, the macerator. Um, I do like the ice, the thermal expansion machines. Um, probably more for early game than late game, but now it's just like this macerator just kills it in speed. And what happens if I throw in more overclockers? Look at that, I could throw in 18 overclockers and this thing just sort of <laughs> tears through it. It's using nine, well, it's probably using about 512, but it can use up to 9,000 EU per take, which is just far too much for it to handle, but <laughs> there you go. Oh god, right, there we go. We've got so much, so much stuff. Oh my god, this is the best. Alright, let's go grab that stuff out of the, uh, Storage, come on. There we go. Alright, so if I throw all of uh, the stuff here, this stuff, and try and get some of you, is that going to work? Oh yeah, so we'll grab one. Uh, I only think we need one, to be honest. I'll put the others back for now. We can get it if we need it at a later date. And then grab some of this, mix this with this. We get two of those. Beautiful. We only need one, but we got two because why not? And it's lagging me again, because it just doesn't like me today. Or just doesn't like, I don't know what it doesn't like. Let's have a look. Did, did I just put those away? There we go. Let me, let me have it. I'm, just, I'm taking them out. I'm going to try it in this crafting table, because that really doesn't seem to like it. There we go. What? what? <laughs> I'm confused. I have no idea why that didn't work. But there we go. We've got energy, uh, crystal memory, which is going to be used to store the, um, I don't know, the data for the Iridium R1 or something. But um, apparently we need this for the uh, the pattern storage and the scanner, and that's what we're going to use. So the next thing on our list of things to do is to make the scanner and to make the replicator. You need some of oh no sorry not the scanner the pattern storage and the, the replicator. We need this stuff here. We need some reinforced stone, and there's no recipe for reinforced stone. And the reason for that is because it's made using quite an, a weird technique, I would say. And that is, we've got to make a, uh, a canning machine and something called, and I can't remember, it's like an SC sprayer or something ridiculous like that. Let me find it for you. We need one of these. We need a CF sprayer and we need to fill it with um, CF foam or construction foam. And then we need to spray construction foam over some iron scaffolding, which will then turn into like hardened construction foam, which will then cool off into reinforced stone. So it sounds a bit odd, I know. But uh, here we go, I'm lagging a little bit. Come on. There we go. So in order to do that, we're going to need a canning machine. And a canning machine is not too bad. Um, it's pretty much just tin casing, um, basic machine frame and a circuit. So let's have a look. I think we're going to have to auto craft, yeah, all of that. Okay. So let's get one of you, begin. Let's get a circuit. 
begin and then I think we've probably automated 10 item casings. Yeah, we have. Okay. Uh, I think we need seven of those, if I'm not mistaken. So begin. They should craft up pretty fast and then we should be good to go. So two, four, six, eight. There we go. Can we make this guy now? Almost. The circuit's not quite done, uh, but there we go. Canning machine. Boom. Nice. Okay. So let's go throw this guy somewhere. Uh, not too sure where because we're kind of running out of space. Uh, we'll just throw him pretty much on top of the other machine. <laughs> we'll put it there. There we go. That'll do. Canning machine. Okay, so we're going to need to fill this thing on the left-hand side with water. And as uh, I'm a, the only thing I'm aware of that we can fill it with is um, these guys, universal cells, I guess. If we right-click on that with a, a universal cell full of water, we get what we're after. So... Uh, I think we're going to have to make a few more of those uh, tin item casings. So let's make, I don't know, 40? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's not too bad. We've got 33,000 tin. We're not going to run out anytime soon. Uh, let's grab one. And then we're going to need to make some glass that way. Okay. Okay. Are we doing not have any glass? Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's make, I don't know, a stack of glass. I don't know how much cobblestone we've got in there. But sure, a stack of glass sounds good to me. So we'll see how that goes, and then basically all we've got to do is get some water from somewhere. I don't think we have a water source about, uh, not in the building anyway, so let's go grab one from outside. And it's okay, we can wait for that thing to make us. Oh, cool, I'm running out of power. I've got to stop making that jump before I look at how much power we've got. Jesus, okay. Right, well, we've got this water cell, and now all we've got to do is just right click on there, and it's got water in the left hand side. You need to set this to fluid enrich mode, tank or cell. And what we need to do now is we need to put in the middle of this CF dust. Now, CF dust, not too hard to make, um, but not the easiest thing in the world. Uh, it's sand, clay, and I should probably get some of the clay, actually, now, now I think about it. Sand, clay, and some stone dust. Now, stone dust sounds easy, but it's made. It's a byproduct of either putting crushed, um, crushed ore through a centrifuge or putting um, something through an ore washing plant. Now... We don't have any crushed iron, so we're probably going to have to go find some iron ore, of all things. Episode 57, guys. And um, also, there are two ways you can do this. Um, it will either store all the stuff in here, the um, the construction foam in here, or it'll put it into a, a CF sprayer if you put it straight there. So we should probably make a CF sprayer, like now, pretty much. So I'm going to make one of those real quick. Uh, yeah, you're out of cobblestone, that's fine. Uh, do we have any of that lying around? Nope. Iron. Okay, now we need three of these. Nope. Don't need them. I wand. Not doing Thorncraft just yet. Stop. <laughs> I need. Oh, come on. Right. Okay. Iron. I need three of these guys. One, two, three. Begin. Uh, do I have a forge hammer on me? It doesn't look like I do. Oh, no, I do. Yeah, there we go. Take those guys. Uh, just threw that guy away. Oh, well. And then, like this, was it? Yeah, there we go. So we got a CF sprayer. Nice. Let's throw you in here. This side then. Yeah, throw it in there. Uh, I think I'm going to do the same as I did before. I'm going to turn this guy off so we can get some cobblestone for our sand. And whilst that's doing that, we need to go find some iron ore. Now, um, luckily enough... Oh my god, no. I'm not. <laughs> that would have been a terrible idea to jump off then. Um, luckily enough, we had the meteor mod on at some point. Uh, we don't have it enabled at the moment because the meteors were just going everywhere. But uh, we did used to have the Meteorite mod on, and that just sort of dropped meteors of stuff all over the place. So, how much of this stuff are we going to need? CF powder? I don't know. We're going to need a few, is my answer. We're going to need a few. I think maybe eight. Eight, maybe, will do. And that's a lot of stone dust. That's like six times eight, 48 stone dust. And considering we only get one per thing of this, one per crushed iron ore, that means we need 46 crushed iron ore, which is... 24 things of iron ore, my Jesus, you know. So we need we need 24 iron ore. So what I'm going to do, guys, is uh, I'm going to uh, do a, a couple of things, actually. I'm going to let this guy over here run, get some cobblestone built up so we can... Oh, he's already got quite a bit. So that I can throw it in here so that we can get a bunch more cells so we can fill that thing with water. While that's doing that, I'm going to go out and hopefully find myself probably about 30 uh, iron ore, hopefully. Flipping heck, I didn't think I'd be doing this again, you know. We've got, like, what, 60,000 iron ingots upstairs in our building. But flipping heck, we don't have any crushed iron ore. Uh, let me just check real quick before I go out that you can't make crushed iron ore by just... Can we just macerate iron? Does that work? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it. It doesn't save. I'm going to try it real quick before we leave. Because um, I don't want to have not tried it and then have it work. So let's just real quick grab an iron ingot. 
Got one of you. What happens if we macerate an iron ingot? What do we get? We'll probably get like iron dust, maybe. Yeah, we got iron dust. I'm guessing that doesn't work. Um, like we told people, well, no, it doesn't. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to uh, go out, find myself some iron. I'll be back in another second. Okay, so I went over to the quarry world. I managed to get myself uh, 33 iron. I sort of just like scavenged the sides of where the quarries once were. And I managed to get quite a bit of iron pretty fast, actually. So now we should just be able to um, grab some cobblestone out of here, actually, real quick. So we can make some more of that glass stuff. I don't need you, do I? <laughs> just throw with some... Uh, some really expensive diamond encrusted like redstone stuff so we can get some cobblestone gosh right throw you in there uh, are you still going yeah you're still going okay all right let's throw all of this iron we've got i think we just throw it into the macerator which is kind of preoccupied a bit at the moment actually yeah we'll throw it in there that will macerate all that stuff i hope it doesn't smelt it in any way i don't think it will and then all we gotta do is throw it in our thermal centrifuge and we should be good to go so let's go see can we get all that stuff how are we doing for cells actually uh, cells, uh, was it cells or was it like, it was universal something, wasn't it? Uh, apparently we don't have many of them. Um, what were we making? We were making, oh no, we were making glass panes, weren't we? That's what we were making. We don't have, we should be able to make, really? Oh no, okay, okay, I, I remember now. We made a bunch of glass so that we could do this. So that we could do this. I don't think we need that many, so I'll make one, two, three sets and throw the rest away. So we can make a bunch of those so that then we can do this. So I'll just grab as many as I can, actually. There we go. Wow, nine. <laughs> as many as I can, which is nine. I think nine will probably be enough, actually. So we'll just leave it at that. Right, that's all doing that. Actually, all the iron ore is probably done. So let's dump away some of the stuff we don't need. Silver, buckets, some algae uh, that I got from the clay. Oh, that's the thing. I didn't get any more clay. Ah, guys, get some of that. Anyway, iron. Let's take the 66 crushed iron ore. Oh, gosh, we'll take it. We'll leave two, apparently. And then let's see. We throw you in the thermal centrifuge. You should heat up pretty quick. You should start like burning through some stuff. And hopefully it should be pretty fast and we should get uh, a bunch of stone pretty quickly. Now this guy isn't hooked up to the AE system. So this guy's just going to take a while. My God, 1,500 degrees. Okay, I'm going to let that guy do his thing. Let's head on outside. How is our cell doing? It's doing fine. I'm going to I'm gonna, like be paranoid about that now. I'm going to keep checking it every time before I leave so that I know I'm not like gonna die when I jump off. Uh, we'll take that as well. Uh, I think they do stack, yeah. Now uh, let's go see. Do we have any clay nearby? I went that way last time. I didn't look in this pond over here. Oh, we've got a, like a Thorncraft thingamajiggy over there. Some like, is it Flux maybe? Or I can't, taint, Tainted Soil? I can't remember what it's called. Uh, the um, the name of this stuff. Taint maybe? Uh, any, any clay maybe? No? Please? Clay? <laughs> Doesn't look like we have any too much about. Like I said, oh wow, I didn't we have that nice pond of uh, online lava right there. Anything? There should be some over here. This is kind of like the, uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, we'll grab some of these things because we need them in the therm. We need them to make uh, the, the CF dust or whatever it was. Uh, that should be enough, that's fine. Uh, this server is run by Multicraft apparently. Uh, there we go, first I've heard, but that's fine. Let's get rid of these guys. There we go, and slash home. Okay. Right, how are we doing? So, this guy, oh my gosh, look at this. He's just tearing through stuff. He's like flicking 51, 50. That should be, how, no, we don't need the iron dust, but I'll take it anyway. We need the, um, let's put that in there, actually. Who needs Who needs this? We can just cook up the iron. Free iron for everyone. There we go. Uh, we're after the, the stone dust of all things. Right, I think we're getting pretty much good to go. So, we've got stone dust. Uh, we need to combine that with clay and sand, was it, I think? Which, again, something we don't have. Uh, are we still making glass? No, okay, we're making sand. Sand, let's make, I don't know, 10 sand, begin, hopefully. Uh, we'll probably run out of cobblestone, so we'll grab a bit more of this. I'll take that stack and turn this back on. How are we doing for you, you matter? Almost again, filled them at that, like, sixth tank, which is pretty ridiculous. Okay, we throw you in there. There we go, and what were we making? We are making CF stuff, weren't we? Okay, CF powder. We've got the sand. Everything else is here. There we go. One, two, three. I think we said we wanted about six, didn't we? So let's have a look. Or maybe eight, I think I might have said. Eight might have been what I said. Oh my God, look at this. We've got loads of it. We've got loads of it. It's fine. Right, and then we just do this. There we go. Look at that. Five. Oh, we're out of sand again. 
craft like another 10. Shouldn't take too long. It should just be, uh, yeah, look at that. It's just macerating up all that cobblestone nice and fast. Throw you there. There we go. Eight. I'm hoping, praying, thinking that might be enough. Let's get this. Fill that with water. It should only take eight, I think. Yep, eight of those. And then all we got to do is put CF powder in the middle. And I think, yeah, there we go. It's going. It's on its way. we will take the overclockers and the transformer grid out of there. Throw them in here. So there we go. It should, I think, be filling up in there. Yep, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Perfect. Eight thousand millibuckets is a full CF sprayer of construction foam. Nice. I don't think we're ever going to have to use that canning machine ever again, which is nice. <laughs> so we'll throw that in there. We'll throw that in there. I'll dump all these uh, in the system somewhere or other. They can go in there. That's an extra 50 iron for us. Why not? All right. Ugh, there we go. Okay, so we've got this CF spray. Now we need to make some iron scaffolding. So iron scaffolding. It's not too hard to make, I don't think. No, a bunch of iron plates and some iron fences, which is apparently a metal farmer and iron casing. Okay, so let's have a look. Uh, I'm going to teach my system. No, let's get a metal farmer out because I kind of want to get this guy set up anyway. So metal farmer, we've got two of them. Uh, I only want one for now, so I'll keep one of them. Throw the other one away. We can probably set them up at some point in the future. Now, hmm, I kind of want this guy to be set up. Actually, we could probably just put it here. Put one of the, yeah, 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 we can do that. So do we have an import bus on us? We don't, okay. So I wanna get this guy set up, so we're probably gonna use him in the future to make iron plates and stuff as well. So import bus, let's craft one of those, begin. Uh, hopefully it doesn't take too long. Done already? Yeah, it is, there we go. Uh, we'll take you, and we'll throw you down here, I think. I think we can just replace this guy with an import bus, because the import bus does go on, oh no we can't, we have to put it here, we're going to have to have an uh, import bus there, not like that either, so, okay, we'll pick this guy up, metal farmer down, uh, do we have any glass fiber on us, we do not, so gold cable will do for now, we'll throw you there, uh, oh that's the problem we're going to have, wasn't it, because we can't connect this stuff up, um, okay, we're just going to, I don't care, we'll break this, I'll fix this later, um, right, so we're going to want the import bus on the bottom of this guy so let's go here is this the import bus yeah they two on me what the heck okay and then we want some more me cabling coming up and around like this there we go and then we just need another interface on top like that and then face it down there we go so what is it we need we need like iron bars or something ridiculous we need an iron fencing which is uh, an iron item kit, an iron item casing, and that guy. Okay. So, back to the pattern storage thingamajig. We will make one of these if we can get ourselves. Actually, we should have some in here, shouldn't we? Yeah, we do. Okay. So, we'll get one of those and teach it that one of those equals one of these. Ah, oh, it takes a while. <laughs> Actually, we're probably not going to use that again ever as well, so there we go. Okay, I think I ended up in the system. So one of those should equal, what's it called, like an iron fence maybe? Some kind? Yeah, an iron fence. Okay, there we go. We will teach it that one of those equals one of these in code. And then we can also teach it at the same time, we don't need the water cell, that that with that in code. Okay, so now I think think we should be pretty good. I'm going to come back and pick those up in a second, even though I don't really think we're going to need them too much. Right, in here we need to put the um, that guy, iron scaffolding, and in here we need to put that guy. So now I'm pretty sure we should be able to request some iron scaffolding. Now I think we only need, what is it, five? Let's have a look. We want um, a pattern storage, which needs, I think, three. Yeah, three reinforced stone. And then the replicator, which I think requires two. Let's have a look. Yep, two. Uh, oh my god, look at these teleporters as well. Look at that. Teleporters. Ooh. Okay, so iron scaffolding. Let's say we just request... I'm just going to request one because... Actually, I'll just request 16. It makes 16 at once. So begin. And then it should take all that stuff. Uh, missing iron... Really? We haven't taught the system how to make iron item casings yet? Uh, okay, so we're going to have to teach it that... Uh, the... Forge hammer, which I do not have by the looks of things. Forge hammer. 
Uh, okay, take you. Oh my god, let me dump some stuff away. Flip it I've got so much stuff in my inventory. Energy bridges, I don't need those anymore. Uh, fluid ducts, uranium, I definitely don't need. Tiny piles of dust, no. Right, okay. So, forge hammer. All right, forge hammer. Take you. Oh, I'll make a fresh one, because otherwise I think the system's going to cry at me. Begin. Fresh forge hammer. Right, one of these and one of these makes two of those. Encode. And throw it down in the system. Like this. Where is it gone? There it is. Okay, now we should be all good to go for making some scaffolding. There we go. Iron scaffolding. Nice. So all we gotta do is we gotta put this down somewhere. I'm gonna put one. I'm gonna put them as many down as we need. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Spray this like that. It will turn into reinforced construction foam. And then you just gotta leave it, basically. Uh, we only used a little bit of construction foam there. We've got loads of left and we've got loads of uh, um, iron scaffolding left as well. So if we wanted to use it for anything else we could do. But that's pretty much it. Now, um, this guy is just gonna sort of sit here. And after a while, um, I've no idea what the time limit is. And I did it before where I did like, I, I covered this one, then covered this one, then this one, then this one. And like one of the later ones cooled faster than the first one. So I think it's like completely random uh, as to how fast it cools. I don't think it's a set time. So, yeah, we kind of just got to uh, sit around and wait now for that to do that. But the good news is, I think the next episode, we will be um, we will be on our way with... We should be able to make the replicator, the scanner, and the pattern chest. And then once we've got those guys down, all we've got to do is power them, uh, pump the UU matter that way, and then we'll be duplicating Iridium. And I am pretty sure that by episode 60, we will have a full set of quantum armor, which is pretty nice. I think, uh, I've said it a few times now actually, but I think I might look into doing, making this a bit better. Because although we do have 6 tanks of um, 16 buckets worth of UU matter, like I say, it needs about 22 buckets or 20 buckets-ish maybe per piece of UU matter that we get. And we need a lot of UU matter. I think we need like, what, 40 is it for the full set? Which is pretty ridiculous. Let's have a look. Uh, quantum armor. We need um, 4 per piece of, 4 per plate. And then that's 4... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So yeah, 40. We need 40 UU matter. So 40 times 20. We need a flipping heck of a lot of UU matter. So I think, yeah, we're definitely going to have to look into this as well. So I think that's probably going to be another thing that we look into as well. So I kind of rambled on a little bit at the end here. There we go. Oh, yes. Perfect timing. Look at that. I was just about to say I've been rambling on a little bit, hoping that one of these would turn. But there we go. I just wanted to show it to you guys. Every so often they're going to turn. I'm going to leave this here now. I'm going to leave the server and stuff. And hopefully when I come back, we will have a... Uh, bit more UU matter. I'll probably add some more tanks before I go. And we will have, hopefully, a nice little pillar of five of these, which we can just um, grab with a diamond pick. It does take a little while to mine. And it does look, at first glance, like this is going to break it, me doing this. But uh, don't worry. All you got to do is just keep going at it. Keep going at it. Keep going at it. You can see the top one's changed as well now. Keep going at it. And then, eventually, it will break. There we go. And you get your last bit of piece. Of reinforced stone. So yeah, that's kind of. I thought that was kind of a weird way to get it nowadays. It's a uh, a lot different to how it used to be. But apparently that's what um, industrial craft thought was right, and uh, I quite like it actually. I think it's pretty cool. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to hit like, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.